that's quite a mess and that's brewing like mad never had it do that before Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to make coffee wine. Oh, I'm sorry, it's six and a half pounds. I apologize. Six and a half pounds of uh, brown sugar. We're gonna just dissolve this brown sugar inside our water. Okay, so I'll put water on to boil. And there should be my six and a half pounds of sugar. I think it just made a mess. Anyway. Yeah. I think we need a little more light here. Um, hmm. There we go. Oh, wow. That's pretty dark. <laughs> how much water uh, this is for five gallons so really I don't have five gallons of water in here yet because uh, we got to let it cool anyway so but now I need to dump it in three and three quarters cup of um, instant coffee There's three quarters of a cup. There's one cup. Two cups. And hmm. Touch short, I mean I actually that's probably exactly right. You know what? That's what we're gonna go with. And there's three cups. So there's three and three quarters cups. So that is an eight ounce jar of instant coffee. And then stir it in good. Now we're just going to bring it to the boil, and as soon as it comes to a boil, we're just going to uh, remove it from heat and let it return to room temperature. Okay, now I've allowed my mixture, my uh, coffee and sugar mixture to cool overnight. So now it's at room temperature. And I'm just gonna remove the lid now. Now I have to add my um, other ingredients. Next is my citrus acid. So, I need a four and a quarter teaspoons of citrus acid. So we'll grab. I'm just going to use. I'm going to use uh, regular old lemon juice. Four, and my quarter here. Okay, here's four and a quarter. Next is my tannin. I need two and a half teaspoons. Two and a half teaspoons of tannin. And I 
doesn't want me to. This is definitely not the way that I've ever done um, wine, not at all. And uh, the reason that I am doing coffee wine was because uh, I've seen it on YouTube, <laughs> somebody doing it, and I'm like, really? Coffee wine? That sounds very interesting. So there's a half teaspoon. One, and I need one more. And I actually got, you know, the recipe that I got is a little different, but uh, I just went off the back of the tannin to figure out how much I needed. I don't know if there's different types of tannin that they, like I said, I'm, I'm not that guy that uh, does all the fancy ones. I usually just take fruit and sugar and water and that's all I make my wine out of. So now, next is the nutrient, yeast nutrient. Package real quick. There we go. So here's my yeast nutrient, and it needs a five teaspoons because it says on the package it says one teaspoon per gallon. packet of yeast and this is the kind I got the red star and it's French name don't do those So there's my last or last ingredient. Now we're gonna give this a stir. Okay, now we'll give it a quick stir. I just want my tannin to be all up in there. All right, let's see how this goes. Coffee. Frothy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pour this in here. I had to get some help. I couldn't do this by myself because my funnel don't fit very well. Back in from cat feeding and baby kittens. And that looks pretty dark. My baby bunny hopped away. Hopped <gasps> away today. He he went. Um, be careful. Way. What we had. Hold still. You're not. Built for him and we had a poor slow on, I think. And he went and dug out of what we had built for him. And so he's ready to go to the wild. And so he graduated to the wild today. And, our, and we have okay. 
two little baby kids. But anyway, she's saying that. We got the wine all over the floor. We're just going to try to top this off to five gallons. Oh yeah, we're using well water to do all this. And uh, I think it tastes, it tastes good this way. We haven't had any problems with it. I'm trying to keep it about as room temperature as I can as I fill. But yeah, we're just topping this off. Who? Oh, yeah. Hey, Finru. Give a shout out to Finru. He does uh, beer brewing. And he, the other day he was showing us how to save your yeast from your brew, and I thought that was really good. Yes, it was. Uh, so go over there and check him out. Check out his, the last video i seen <laughs> of him saving his yeast. I just need a little more. Probably about as close as we're going to get here. Okay. All right, so got that. Now it tells us to take and uh, put a napkin and a rubber band around it until it is going vigorously. So that means I got to take this. Room vigorously. Yeah. But I think it, it was, I think, a little while ago. I probably won't take it very long. I just need a rubber band. My precious wife donated one of her uh, hair things. Oh, golly. That wasn't good. Is it too small? It might be. At least. Oh, there we go. So it just says put a napkin around it until it starts brewing vigorously. So we'll come back on. Once we get done with that. So I uh, come out this morning and my wine is brewing vigorously. As you can see. So I'm not used to using um, yeast. <laughs> I've only been using natural yeast. So we're we're learning so I guess I can't fill it so full so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit I'm gonna clean up this mess and then we'll wait a little bit and see how it goes and probably put it on something like a piece of cardboard or something so that it doesn't make as big a mess but there you have it thank you for watching and uh be blessed.